Motorsport is here to entertain you. Its other important role is to give much more emotion to Škoda's road-going RS models. Do you know what happens when our engineers take a look at the Enyaq RS? You get this. The Enyaq RS race concept is an example of how far the road-based Enyaq RS can be taken in terms of fun behind the wheel and use the lightweight sustainable material. The car has the same basic powertrain layout and the production power of 340 horsepower. Otherwise, there are a number of ways in which it resembles My Fabia RS Rally 2. Let's start inside. Inside this car, it's a real racer. It has the roll cage just at the rally regulation. It has a steering wheel just made for this car, a bespoke dashboard, and then of course, a really cool pedal box straight out of the rally car. But most importantly, is this thing here. It's a hydraulic handbrake. That's the most fun thing we have. Obviously, the hydraulic handbrake is my absolute favorite thing in a rally car. So I'm very keen to see how it works inside this electric car. I never thought I'd be driving an electric car sideways. The Enyaq RS race has revised kinematics and chassis geometry. Sustainable flex space composite materials are used on the roof, fenders and sills. They've helped to lower the center of gravity and weight below the 2 ton mark. Weight savings have also been achieved on brakes and beautiful wheel wings. I have to say, this new Enyaq RS uh, race is a uh, really exciting car to drive. First of all, it's super fast. And secondly, to go that fast, this car is now much more stable. Uh, it feels lower. And it's not like driving in another SUV. It, it feels like a really cool, fun car to drive and it feels much more nimble lightweight and uh, yeah fun to play with the car you really feel you've lost a lot of weight in this car uh, because you can really play with it much much more but have a lot a lot of fun how did you like it well as you can see i'm very warm and also it's, i've been pushing hard but uh, yeah you have say you've done a good job to get the combination between the the road car uh, with the powertrain and then obviously to get more rally feeling the NDF RS race really shows how to move DNA of motorsport into the road cars and a sustainable future. The Skoda Motorsport engineers haven't shied away in the electric powertrain. They made a great car and it's really fun to drive. Already after first sketches, it was possible to see that our NAAC RS race will be very sporty. And this was a task for our engineering to be as close as possible to our current Fabia RS Rally 2 concerning handling and interior. And I think we've done it quite well. The car has reinforced body shell and integrated safety frame just like in our competition car, according to the current FIA regulations. We have focused carefully on the handling. The basic powertrain layout, including the battery and the power, is identical to the production car. We have added a hydraulic handbrake, front and rear self locking differential and few other competition bits. The goal was also to significantly reduce the weight. We save a lot on inside components and on unsprung brake and wheel mass. We also achieved big weight savings by using sustainable flux-based composite materials. Their production process is similar to that of carbon composite, but they are entirely natural-based. That is the key to the ENIAC RS race project as we are moving towards sustainable motorsport by developing and testing these materials. We use them on the roof, fenders and sills. The ENIAC RS race is a great example how Škoda Motorsport is bringing emotions to our RS road models. I think it will be really fun to drive. Skoda Motorsport developed its first fully electric competition car in 2021. We have learned a lot and I think now it's a good time to take our experience further. That's why the unique Enyaq RS concept is being developed showing how to bring the DNA of Motorsport closer to production cars and also towards a sustainable future. The Enyaq race is definitely not just a design study that ends with uh, pretty pictures. This is going to be a real car. It will be lower, wider, lighter and the most importantly faster. So it was the clear from the start that the design had to be aggressive with the strong racing DNA. Along with the aerodynamics, it actually designed it similar to a race car. It has a sharply sculpture front, dramatically widened fenders and a massive rear wing. It's already fast on the paper, 
and that's always a good start. It will bring a lot of interesting technical features that will be applicable to road going Škoda cars. And that's the way it should be, because motorsport should not only entertain but also inspire. The car looks great and I am really looking forward to seeing it finished.